people showing love and helping making this possible. Um, you know, he played a big role in this event, so thank you. I don't know if you want to say something. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I, I just want to say, I think, um, you know, at a time where people who uh, see more of a personal benefit from doing these events than maybe, you know, the, the joy of the culture, or the joy of the event, the joy of the battles, I think in a time where people are taking this phenomenon and utilizing it to profit. I mean, obviously, you know, the goal is always to profit, but I really support Organic, man, because he just, you know, no pun intended, but you live up to your name. You know, you're authentic, you're organic to this, uh, to this, to this genre of, of, of rap. And I think that, um, I think this is gonna be an incredible event and I'm really, I'm really grateful for everybody that's participating. We got some big names. And thank you for, for all you guys for making, making it out here. You know, we know coming to another country is never easy. So we appreciate you making the trip. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's just it, it's a great thing. This is literally for everybody who, like, stays up at night and watches these shits and, you know, pays attention and knows, knows, knows every, everything in and out. You know, this, this event is for, for those people. This isn't for, for anybody else, you know. So, you know, for everybody that's, that's into this culture like that, you know, I hope you enjoy your event. You know what? Let's 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 set this off. You know, right now with questions because if they got if you guys got any questions, let's let's set it off with organic and uh, with Drake. Drake, what is your involvement exactly with Black Oak Live? Um, well, initially, I mean, we just kind of chose an event. Obviously, these guys have a, a list of events every year that they do. So uh, me and organic chose this particular event, and uh, we just kind of you know it was like. With my involvement, it became like, you know, we were like kids, like trying to figure out like, you know, what's like, it's like almost crazy power to be able to dictate whatever battles you want to happen. And, you know, I, I did everything I could and, you know, pulled together whatever we needed to, to make the right battles happen. Um, I, I gave my suggestions, you know, like I was saying, you know, I, I suggested the Pat Stay Sharon battle. I'm sure everybody suggested it, but, you know, I was the one that <laughs> kind of tried to make it happen. Um, and, you know, a lot of the other battles on the card, we would just talk back and forth almost like every week, try and figure it out. And then beyond that, you know, it was just making it a grandiose event, you know, getting to Queen Elizabeth and having everybody here, you know, did, uh, like we just tried to piece together the biggest thing possible. I heard a little rumor that Pat State is um, one of your favorites. Is that true? Yeah. I mean, of course. I think if you're into battle rap, he should be one of your favorites, especially, you know, being from Canada. I think he's definitely one of, if not the best, you know, so, yeah. The Dot Champion. Make some noise for Pat Stay, y'all. And his challenger from Ottawa, Ontario, please make some noise for Sharon! Gold dust. DJ Doctor on the ones and twos. You guys feel the difference? <laughs> it's kind of like a lion and like an injured baby deer. <laughs> All the animal references, bro. You're not going to beat me with those. Yeah, it's a difference, boy. All right, Pat, since Day, in your words, didn't take your battle serious. Hold it, excuse me, hold it down, please. Hey, 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 hey. We got the title match hey. happening right now, the title match press conference. Hold it down. Thank you. Since Daylight, in your words, didn't take your battle seriously. Seriously. Are you looking forward to battling an opponent that will finally go 100% at you? Yeah, absolutely. I think, I think it's... Um I think it's a good thing. You know, Sharon probably got more heart than most people in the league, if not almost everyone. So I know that he'll put 100% in into it. And uh, so I was confident uh, in, uh, in coming uh, likewise. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I think it's a good thing. Do you feel that now is the right time for you to battle Sharon? <laughs> um, it, didn't really, it didn't really matter when the time was. You know what I mean? I know there's a build up to everything. And, you know, the people eventually um, would, would want him to do it. So, yeah, I mean, 
I thought that it was smart. Uh, you know, a lot of the, you know, the internet losers and shit like that, they'd be like, you've been ducking him since fucking, you know, 2000 BC. I'm like, well, it didn't really make sense then. You know what I mean? When he was dissing me six years ago, it didn't make sense. But now it does, and now there's a big buildup. Now they understand, um, you know, business and uh, anticipation and shit. Do you feel that you had to prepare differently for this opponent? And uh, if so, how? It's kind of like, um, you know when you, like, you play your girlfriend in a game of like basketball? <laughs> and you're, like, you're just like, uh, you're, you're just more so flirting. <laughs> so it's kind of like that, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, when she goes out for the layup, I kind of like tickle her hip a little bit or something like that. Like, <laughs> I know, you know, I know what to get, what I'm getting myself into, and you know, and you know, I think, I think his shit's, you know, he's been working hard, and you know, his last battle was fucking adorable. So yeah, he's getting better. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's, he's, he's getting good. Yeah. So I did, I did take this battle seriously because, even though, in my personal opinion, I, you know, I don't think he's, you know, the best person I battled yet, but I know that because of his build up and 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 the anticipation and shit like that, um, I need to try uh, extremely hard for it. So yeah, I think I put my most into this for sure. Do you feel that this is your biggest battle yet? My biggest battle yet? No. Not even <laughs> no, of course not. No, no, I had a cold last week that was a fucking twice as good. No, honestly, Sharon is really good. He's got a lot better. He's earned his name and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's probably, you know, I guess one of the biggest or whatever, but um, nah, it's not, it's not like my, my biggest challenge or anything like that, regardless, you know. Do you think that Sharon is a threat, though? Yeah, of course he is, man. And, and there's a lot of, um, you know, stipulations. There's a lot of reasons for that. Um, let's say this. If this was two years ago, even with his skill, on another league in a fucking basement, and I battled Sharon, it would be 3-0 rape, people leaving, covering their eyes. But now that there's a huge anticipation and all the, you know, the people in the crowd, you know, they're, they're just cheering for, you know, like it's, it's like the movie where, you know, the nerdy kid, like the bully, I'm the bully, and at first I'm like picking on him, like, hey, loser, fucking hanging him up in my fucking locker and stuff, and then eventually, you know, he comes to the wedding, and he fucking, they're like, do you have any last words? And he comes in like, yeah, and, like, and he fucking eventually, like, you know, takes my girlfriend away and puts her on his back. You know, they, they, want, they, want the, they want him to win for that reason. Like, they cheer for me different than Sharon. They cheer for me, they say, I say a dope line, they're like, ugh. They cheer for him, they're like, yeah, like, good for him. Like, this is great, you know? <laughs> I mean, so there's a lot of, like, hype behind him for that shit. All right, Sharon. What's up? <clears throat> Being the poster boy, so to speak, of King of the Dot, and repping so hard throughout your career, do you feel like this opportunity should have been granted to you sooner? No. Nah, please, I'm please hold it down at the back. Sorry. Please hold it down at the back. Thank you. I definitely think it could have uh, happened back in the day, but I'm actually, uh, you know, happy organic took time to build it up for the anticipation. You know, Pat Stay is the champion for a reason and is the most, you know, well-known Canadian. And I just feel like I've risen up in the ranks to become number two. But, you know, you're not number one until you beat number one. But like you said, as a poster boy, even though Pat stays higher up than me, you know, I've done more. I've been to the other leagues. He'll say, you know, he doesn't need to travel because he's Pat Stay and all that. And, you know, Murder Mook, Loaded Lux, all those guys stay in their home because they don't need to. But I've actually repped this league outside and smack. And, of course, he's going to, you know, beat his girlfriend in basketball because he never travels. It's Pat Stay, man. This guy, he, he lives at home. He, he <laughs> I already got the rebuttals on deck. Yeah, of course, he's bring up wedding. I'm going to prove I'm the best, man. We'll save that for the battle. Those are light bars. Those are throwaways. This is what's happening right now. Pat Stay is the best person I've faced. This is not his biggest battle. This is my biggest battle. And you've seen what I've done not at my best. So imagine me at my best. Pat Stay is a threat. And I know that I, I'm preparing for this battle different than any other one. His stage present, presence, I can't match it. But I could improve on, on mine and I could give my best performance ever to, you know, hopefully counter what he's doing. I respect that, man. That's dope. Do you, do you, yeah. do you feel, that, do you feel that, des that Pat deserves to be the champion? Of course he deserves to be the champion. He's, he's Pat Stay. He, you know, he was doing this in the Elements League. Well, stop it, babe. Come on, man. <laughs> what do you mean? You stop it. You know what I mean? Yeah, he I'm already drunk. You're making me turn red. You know I love you. <laughs> you know I, how I prepared to this battle, man? Keith Sweat twisted, man. I had that in my fucking headphones, you know, you know, you know the whole bro, time, these, so. These gay jokes aren't going to work, but yo, I'm, I'm, I'm not here to, <laughs> I'm not here to fucking flirt with them and call them bae and fucking have another picture that Arsenal brings up in a battle. I'm here 
to battle and do work and answer battle rap questions. It just really sounds like you're nervous to talk about actually, the battle right actually, now. Actually, you flirt with me in the weirdest ways. You know, the other night when we were doing those videos, when we were doing those videos and you told me to your face, you're like, Pat, you're better than me. And, I, and I'm like, well, why? And this is on everything, I wouldn't lie. I said, why, why? I said, why have you done 10 times more than me and I'm higher than, I'm higher than you? You know what you said? And you looked me up and down, mostly there, and you said, you said, you said, you said, you said look at you. That actually did not happen. He, I put that on my fucking life. That stage just lied to your face. That's not what happened. No, I said, you said, look at you. It's your image. Look at you. I said, Correct? your image. I said, your image. You're branded because you're more marketable. If why? I, I'm wearing just, you know, I, I, I you know regular clothes and stuff like that. And so, <laughs> why, why is it my image? I, I, well, I, don't, I don't have, like, horns on or anything like that. Why, why, what makes me stand out? You looked at me. You said, look at you. And, and I salivated. Said, look at and, you, you know, bro. I said, look at me when I'm killing you. I never no, said, No, you didn't. You said, look at me when my button's popping off my Wrangler jeans because I have a fucking boner over bro, you. Can we just pause the U stream right now? Like, past days, fuck your shit up, yo. Uh, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I forget the question. It got really Sunday. gay all of a sudden. No, I forget, like, the actual question at hand. Serious, Pat. What's up? Is there anything that you feel Sharon is better at you? Better uh, than you at? Freestyling. Yeah. Yo, hold yo, it yo, down. Yo, 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 please, please, please. You feel like you feel like Sharon's better at freestyling? Yeah, of course. I'd be a fucking idiot. You know, that's what he practiced on for uh, you know his his you know his entire career. So yeah, I'd be an idiot to say that. I'd be fucking delusional. And if I stood up here and said I'm a better freestyler, then you guys could all bet that I'm gonna lose because that means I'm delusional. If you ask Sharon, you know, is he does he have as much presence as me? Can he control the crowd? Any of that type of shit? You know, what I mean, there's I have pretty much everything on him, and he's not delusional either. He he understands that type of shit. So you know so what. I'll, Will, will we be seeing any flips in the battle? For sure. You know, I always okay. do that, but probably not as much as him. I probably won't be like, yo, you know, my flow is legit. You know? <laughs> yo, he you said your girl fucking, you never travel, but you can't go to the rim. <laughs> Some fucking shit, I don't know. That was, that was pretty hot. That was pretty hot. <laughs> pretty good. Right. good. Pause worthy a little bit. Dark side, huh? <laughs> we here. Jerome, same question. What do you feel that Pat State could be better at than you? The obvious is his, uh, his crowd control and, and his presence, and that's something uh, you, you really have to develop a game plan to beat Pat Stay. You know, a lot of he's faced bigger names, but they just came out there doing the thing, rapping. They never really attacked Pat Stay and broke him down. So, can I beat Pat Stay by beat, you know out rapping him and out performing him? Absolutely not. Can I beat him just off rebuttals alone? Of course not. He actually is good at rebuttals. He'll probably have some good ones too. I could beat Pat Stay by attacking him like no one else has. And just, uh, and, you know, with, with the game plan I got, I, got bar, I feel like I'm better at bars than Pat State, too. But you, you just can't beat Pat with bars. So you, you're going to see, you know, no one has ever really attacked Pat State like this before. So yeah. Here's how I feel, you know. I mean, I'm not being a smart ass or whatever. You know, you've been, you, you would openly admit that you've been pretty much writing for me for years. You know what I mean? For like three, you've had punchlines for me for years, right? So you should, you really, really, really should win. So anyways, I'm expecting, I'm really expecting for you to have great angles, you know I mean? I, if, if you came out half-assed, half, half ass, I'd be like, this is ridiculous. I expect you to do 10 times better than ever because, you know, I've had 1 20th the time to, to prepare for you or less, right? So, you know, I, I expect it to be. You're going to realize one thing, though, Sharon. One thing you're going to feel. There's natural and there's mechanical, right? It's difference, natural and technical. And you're going to feel that when I'm in your face. An effortless thing, isn't that right, Marv? He's nodding his head. There's two. There's a difference between two. There's a two di difference between two different humans. You can mechanically do this. You can study study battle rap. You can freestyle. You can study how to do bars and all this type of shit. But when a natural superstar is in your fucking face, you would don't have that. You're gonna feel that, baby. Well, I'll, I'll I'll bet something with you, but I know that. And, and, and if you're not a fucking idiot, then you'll understand, too. I know there's a lot of things going on in this fucking battle, so um, I'll, I'll bet something with you just out of pure competition and respect yeah, for you. But what? I mean, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold it down. Hold it down, please. Hold it down. I'll make it fair. I'll put money on this battle. Okay, Drake's going to put... That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Okay. Respect to Drake. We'll figure that out oh, yeah, as well. I, I want to make one thing clear, too. Well, I, wait, I got to... Oh, yeah, let, let yeah, I want to make one thing clear about the title. Um, I remember the first time I talked to Drake, and, he, and, and, and you know, he, um, it was after the arcade... No, sorry. It was after um, my battle with math, and, and he kind of took me out back or whatever. We were talking to shit, and he said, Yo, Pat, uh, you need to go for the chain, man. And I remember I was like, nah, nah, man, because of this and this. And I'll never forget the look. And he's just like, all right, cool. 
and, and I was just like, what the fuck am I thinking? And, and, and uh, I never told you this because I don't really, you know, just make fucking things or whatever. But that's actually the reason why I did. That's actually the reason why I went for it after that. I was like, you know what? And for King of the Dark, because, you know, in my personal opinion, I thought that things were, you know, going on in a way not as forward as we'd like it to be. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. So, uh, and, and that's the reason why I'm the champ today for, for Drake and for Organic, you know, mostly. I, I hope you do your best, and I'm, yeah. I expect you to. And, and, and I, don't, I don't expect to blow you out either because... Pause, you know. <laughs> Sharon, you know our history. <laughs> okay, lie. listen, we're we're gonna we're gonna take three questions from the audience. Zoe, you got it? All right. Yep. We got Ak. My dog. My dog. Ak baby, rap great. Um I was talking to Paste. Oh, y'all got some fans outside. I was talking to Paste outside. They're here for me. No. And uh okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Paste outside and he mentioned something that got me to thinking. Um, he thinks Sharon is going to have a big underdog effect. Um, and I was wondering, in, in your opinion, Sharon, do you think this crowd is going to be more for Paste? Or do you think the crowd is going to be looking for you? Who do you think has the, uh, the advantage with before Organic says time or start? It's a good question. I almost think it's, uh, it's pretty even. You know, we're both hometown favorites in Canada, but I would say probably Pat Stay, but he, do, he is right about the underdog effect as well. So in a sense, people will be cheering for Pat Stay, but they'll also be, uh, you know, they root for the underdog as well. It's, you know, it's almost even, but I think Pat Stay, you know, in Canada, no one gets a reception like him. So when, when Organic announces my name, you know, the crowd cheers and they announce Pat Stay, I think it's going to be bigger for Pat Stay. So it's just I have to do that much more to win it. Um, well, what it well, what it is, it's like... Um, yeah, of course it's the fucking underdog effect. You know, it, 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 it's, 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 it's just obvious shit. You know, it's a, you know, Shotgun Shug, for example, could have never, ever beat him because whatever he says, the crowd's like, oh, my God, the little fucking nerdy white guy standing up to the fucking bully, and that's what it is, and he's not going to hit Sharon just because of that. So it, 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 that's how it is. You know, the crowd, I'm not saying the whole crowd is nerds, but, you know, I, I guess maybe a lot of them could, could relate more, you know, or whatever. So it's like the, the nerd versus the bully type shit. I don't know. Like... Uh. This goes uh, from Fano from King of the Dot Media. From to both of you guys, seeing that Sharon is, you know, one of the most hungriest persons for this chain, looks like and it. you know, Pat Stay holding it down mo most of all. I, I would say this is as your preparation for each other has it changed from any other battle that you've had. Uh, you know, Sharon being that. Listen, if it's a David versus Goliath battle, is it? Has anything changed? Are you a, are you as hungry as you've ever been, or Pat Stay? Do you feel that you know this is might be the biggest you know competition that you've had, being that it's both Canada and Canada battle? Um, no, I've had you know bigger competitions, and just that's just my opinion. You know, I mean, I battled fucking you know my best friend at the time, and that mean will probably mean more than anything in the fucking world uh, because of how much pride was on the fucking line into my city. Um, but I did, I did take this serious, but there's one thing I didn't do in this battle, and um, people don't understand what I, have to, what I have to deal with every time. Um, I can't usually do what I want in battles because I'm the main event every time to a really drunk crowd who has the attention span of nothing, and I usually have to cater to that shit. So all the dope schemes, like, dude, I don't pat jokes too much. Guess what? I probably had a super crazy, intricate scheme that I could have put in there, but I'm like, shit, it's a 3.30 in the morning drunk-ass crowd. They're not going to really be receptive to that. They want to hear something else. So, oh, you know what I mean? So that's what I've been dealing with my whole time. People don't understand the, the fucking pressure and the bullshit I have to do. But this time I did different. And I did what the fuck I want to do. And if I, if I lost, that's cool. And I really won't feel any type of way. I'll still go home. I'm still Pat Stay wherever the fuck I go. But I'll, the stuff that I say, people are going to watch back on camera and be like, yo, man, this guy really said some fucking effective shit. Not, about even, not even about Sharon, just on some real mm -hmm. shit. People are going to be like, wow, that was fucking crazy. Hey, just for anybody that doesn't know, the event is from 3 to 11 this weekend. <laughs> Watch it. 3 to 11. Four. Oh, 4. My bad. 4 to 11. So there's not going to be any 3.30 in the morning situations this time. Last question. Yeah. Here's the Drake. Um, well, yeah, definitely super excited that this battle's happening. Um, I, I feel like in, in, your, in your battles, well, I mean, as of late, there's kind of this consistent thread of you like uh, losing passion for battle rap, or uh, it's like this. It, it it almost seems like you you have to mention it, and I feel like you're here today, and you're like in rare form. I just want to know if this particular battle has you like 
more excited or are you are you just like at a better place because I just I like seeing you like you um, know you look happy like you did in uh, Quake Matthews summertime win which is a <laughs> <laughs> Quake <laughs> Matthews <laughs> yes sir that's why he's the fucking man <laughs> that's why he's the realest guy um yeah, no, I'm definitely, uh, <laughs> I was happy as fuck. Uh, <laughs> you see me chuck the guy off the boat? <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> Anyways, listen. Um, yeah, no, I'm real happy. I'm, 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 uh, this, is, this is a huge thing for me. So I, I, I brought, my heart is back into it. And there's going to be some things I say that seem a little bit, not negative, but I don't know. I, that's just a part of me, man. I, you know, I'm, I am a really fucking different person, man. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know. I, I do have it back and. and, and I, I won't be as negative, okay, Drake? <laughs> 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 I hate everybody on the floor. <laughs> um, and thank you for that story that you said, too. That means a lot. I remember that night. 